So let's get into it. It's Tuesday the 26th of September. We are on day number 1279. All right, I want to say welcome on this glorious cold chilly morning. Okay, so let's get into it. I want to deal with um, love and faith, love and faith today. And I want to deal with something very extraordinary. You wouldn't think that I would have pulled out a scripture like this. But I want to pick up the scripture that Paul uses as he closes to the church of uh, Ephesians. The very last verse, he makes a statement. And I want you to listen to this. He says, as Ephesians chapter 6 verse 23, it says this. Peace be to the brethren. Okay. And love and faith. Sorry, and love with faith. From God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want to say this. He says, I give you peace. I pray peace. But I give you love with faith. Now what does love with faith mean? How does that operate? How do those two connect? You know, I understand if he had said, listen, I give you peace, love and faith. And that's fine. But he says, I'm giving you love with faith. Now, what does that mean? It means this, that I'm trusting God. Remember, faith is trust. I am even trusting God when I choose to operate in love. I'm trusting God that that love is going to overcome everything that the devil's tried. Remember this, the devil is going to try everything in his power to cause division, to cause hurt, to break down, to destroy but when I love, I'm loving out of faith. I'm believing God for something, even if I'm loving unconditionally. Now we've explained many times that the agape love of God is the unconditional love of God. In other words, that you are loving people unconditionally. It's above your natural ability. And it's not determined on what you're going to get out of this or what the person has done right or wrong. It's purely out of the fact of God's love, loving somebody, no matter what they are doing. But listen, it's one thing to love somebody. It's another thing to do it with faith. You know, the Bible says, and I want you to write this down, love never fails. So when I love, I'm doing it in faith that God is going to win the victory in this thing. That love will break through every barrier. That love will break what the devil has tried to do. And so saints, I want to just say, we need to stand together. We need to believe God for the supernatural. And even when we love people, we must believe that God is going to use that. And God is going to change their hearts. And God is going to break through into that situation and circumstance. Because I believe that God is going to do something amazing in our nation. So, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. So right now, we are going to believe God. We are going to trust God for the supernatural to take place in our lives. And we're going to believe God that when we love people, we are going to love them with faith. And God is going to not only turn it around, but He's going to bring the victory in Jesus' name into their circumstance. Let's pray. Father, we pray before we give this in morning. We thank you, Lord, that we can honor you and worship you and exhort you. But Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that we will never be the same again. Lord, I thank you that you will do something supernatural in our lives. And Lord, that we will move by your spirit. And Lord, that you will forgive us of everything that we've done wrong. We ask you, please, to forgive us of any wrongdoing. But Lord, I pray right now that we will move to a new level. And Lord, that as we come and come around the table today, Father, I pray for your supernatural intervention of your spirit. And Lord, that when we come and we say, Lord, we love you and we love others. 
Lord, that we will love with a supernatural love, but with faith. Lord, believing that your love will break the strongholds on their lives. Lord, I thank you right now for your blessing. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the power of God in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you that as we take of these elements right now, Lord, we thank you that your body was broken for our physical healing. And Lord, that you loved us so much that you gave us Jesus, that his blood was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we stand on this covenant. Lord, we thank you for the love that was shown us, the unconditional love that came with faith. But, Lord, I pray that we will do the same in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that we are healed. Amen and amen. Well, folks, I trust that you are ready. I just want to just say that we are having incredible issues with internet. So uh, please, let's just believe God that we don't even get cut off this morning. Okay, but we are here. We are doing what we have to do. Amen. All right. I want to tell you it's Tuesday. Man, I tell you it's an exciting Tuesday because it's prayer time. All right. Tonight at 7.30, we are getting together and we are praying. So please get ready for our, our corporate prayer over this nation and let's start building that thing. All right. Like I said, I want to have more than a thousand people on that feed where we represent our nation across this nation. Let's pray. And... Excuse me, we are going to pray over the issues and the stuff that's happening. Amen. So this morning, I want to remind you, 7 o'clock, uh, Pastor Benjamin is going to be on tonight. And he's going to teach a little bit on, on prayer and governance. And then 7.30, I'm going to be leading the uh, Zoom session where we are praying for the nation. And remember, I don't pray, you pray. And we stand in agreement. And I want to just say this, if you're coming to pray, bring a scripture with, get a point that you want to pray. You've got a minute to pray because there's lots of us. All right? And you come and let's pray. Let's believe God for the supernatural. I am so excited to see the level of guys coming through. It's just ordinary people that say, God, oh, God, we are going to pray. We've been teaching you for a long time how to pray. Now we're practicing it because we are going to create a spiritual umbrella across this nation. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Today we're going to pray over the... Um, over some of the, the, the rains and stuff, all right, and especially over the lung cliff now, I see that they are a bit concerned about the num amount of rain that they're getting. So let's pray that none of the crops are going to be damaged and none of the fruits are going to be damaged and that God is going to just be honored through this thing in Jesus' name. All right, and we're going to pray these extreme things out of the way and release the blessing and the anointing and the amount of rain. The Bible says rain should be in its due season. Okay, so we don't want an abundance of rain. We want it just to come in a season as it's meant to biblically. And we are going to pray God's blessing over it. Amen. All right. And then we're also going to be praying for our nation this morning. We're going to trust God for some great things in our nation. Let's pray. Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you love us, care for us, and guide us. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray over our nation first of all. Lord, I pray over our leaders. I pray, God, that they will make the right and correct decisions. Lord, that you will show them what to do next, that you will lead them, you will direct them, you will guide them in Jesus' name. Father, I pray your blessing over our nation. I pray every single prophetic word over our nation in Jesus' name. Lord, that our nation will be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we speak life over our nation, blessing over our nation in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you for this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord, right now, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something supernatural in and through each and every believer. Lord, as we stand in agreement, Lord, that we will see the power of God over our nation and we will see the blessing of the Lord. Right now, Lord, we pray over this weather, Lord, these extreme weather conditions. Father, I command them to come in normality. Lord, I thank you that your word promises that you'll give rain in its season, but Lord, not the abundance that it will break and damage properties or homes. 
And Lord, I pray right now for the Lundcliffe. Father, I thank you, Lord, that the rain will just subside there. And Lord, the crops will not be damaged. And Father, I pray for the fires in the northwest. I thank you, Lord, that they are going to be under control. Lord, I thank you that right across this nation, everything come to normality in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray right now that as we stand in agreement, Lord, that there will be peace and there will be blessing and there will be prosperity over our nation. I release every prophetic word over our nation this morning. And Lord, I pray for our businesses. I thank you, Lord, that our businesses will prosper. Lord, I thank you for supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts to take place. Thank you, God, that we remain building altars. And Lord, that we will stay consistent in these things. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right. Folks, I want to remind you that it's going to be a glorious time tonight. I can't stress to you how important it is that we pray together. Amen. So please be on the feed at 7.30. You'll get the links on the groups as well as on Facebook. Go and have a look and you can get joined in at 7.30 tonight. Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might. I want you to go out with valor. Go and do what God has called you to do in Jesus' name.